Well, don't look now, but we are under three weeks until the kids are back to school. I know. Yay! <laughs> you know what that means for us parents? We get to make lunches again. Yay! <laughs> and we're trying to make uh, lunches that are they're healthy and good for the kids. And a good spot to do that is here at Healthy Planet. So we're back with our good pal, Ashton Buck. Good to see you. Oh, nice to I, see you as always. I think I saw you at the beginning of the summer, so now I'm seeing you closer to the end of the summer as we get ready for I back to school. I don't hate it. Do you hate it? Don't hate it. Don't we hate always it. have we always we always have a good time. So we're at the Stony Creek location. Stuff that we're talking about is loca is all of these would have stuff throughout the Healthy Planet brands uh, across the region. Yeah, exactly. You can find all of this stuff that we're going to talk about today at any Healthy Planet location across Ontario. Okay. Yeah. Zip tops. What are these? So. We're on the topic of BPA, phthalates, things that are known carcinogens and also endocrine disruptors, right? So these lunch sacks, you can rewash them and they are specifically BPA lead PVC phthalate free. I'm testing and you, what's BPA, do you know? Bisphosphophenol A. Okay. <laughs> if I said that right. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't quote me on if I said the, it the, the pronunciation, but it's exactly. Okay. So but it's not good for you. That's what it's working. It's not good on. for you. So we're looking for plastics that don't have any of those in them. Of All course, right. it's so easy to find plastic everywhere, and we're trying to decrease our plastic consumption. So we want to have reusable, BPA-free lunch sacks. Made Good is always popular in our household. It's a good local brand that's made just down the road. I think in Toronto. Yeah, right? I believe it is made in Toronto. So these are good things that you can put inside of a zip top. Right. Packages. Bo but bobos? I've never heard of those. Bobos? Okay, so if the way that I like to describe it is if you had a muffin and a Nutri-Grain bar. I don't know if you remember those. Yeah. If they had a baby, this is what a bobo is, and it's delicious. It's like a muffin so you don't need with... So you don't need to heat it up or anything like that? Yeah, I'm fine. No, you don't need to. You can just take it, and just it's delicious it. as it is. Okay. Let's go for a little cruise because, yeah, obviously the kid stuff is big, but as we kind of get back into our routines as well, um, it's about packing a good, healthy diet and lunch for totally. us. Um, oh, I think, did we go down the wrong aisle? We did go down the wrong aisle, but keep, keep going for a second because there's something back here that you love. I love, and I'm going to share it with you, okay? Okay. So this is good for the kids, but also good for the adults. What are they? I personally really love these Soul Cuisine black bean bites. Of course, they make a whole bunch of other things. Can we pull them out? Yeah. What are they? Let's pull it out. It's a black bean bite, so there is protein in it. It's vegan, of course, and gluten-free. I'm gluten-free and dairy-free. So this is a great, tasty option. It takes 10 minutes to make. Literally put it in the oven for 400, five minutes. So are, you, so are you putting it, you're putting it in the oven and then putting it in your container and taking it to work? That's right. Okay, and, and the, so that it's not hot, but you could do that at work too, I guess. You could you do that to. at work, but it tastes uh -huh. good cold too. It, it, it's fine cold. And there's it's, all different, if you don't like the black lean, there's a bunch of other different types too. Exactly. Okay. Um, it's just so easy, and that's a great lunch option. Cans, okay. A lot of the time when you're seeing these cans, you think not healthy. Yeah, people usually think canned things aren't that great, but they're awesome because you can store them for a long period of time. Again, they're BPA-free. Everybody's trying to go BPA-free because it's been associated with a carcinogen and endocrine disrupture, which means that it helps disturb your hormones, essentially. So you're always like no throwing like huge big words at me. I know. I, <laughs> I know. Good morning. It's <laughs> like, what word is that? BPA, BPA is what we need to know. BPA. And, but this takes me back to like being a kid and like having the thermos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But <laughs> I can guarantee you what I had in that thermos was not me like neither. really good healthy stuff. But so this is good because it's all organic. So the what are these? The Amy's, Amy's organic soups? That's what it's called? Amy's organic soups. They're filled with organic vegetables and even some lentils, which are packed with proteins, which can be a really great alternative to some of the other things that you can find in cans that aren't as nutritious. Okay. And they're easy and they stay warm if you put them in the thermos. So thermoses right. are still good. Thermoses are still good. Um, Staying healthy is still good. Healthy Planet has a number of locations throughout the region. We're going to be here all morning long. We're going to get into immune systems. We're going to get into stress. Mm -hmm. We're going to get into microgreens with our pal Ashton Buck at the Stony Creek location. Healthy Planet, all morning live. What other kinds are good here? Like, so crispy, so that's like, but it's not an actual chicken tender. So actually I've been pretty lucky this summer staying healthy, no summer colds, because listen, that's never fun. But you know come the fall, those colds are gonna come around, and especially as the kids go back to daycares, they go back to school, and more germs interacting. 
Uh, it's going to happen. So let's boost those immune systems, and we're boosting them with Ashton Buck here at, uh, at Healthy Planets. Absolutely. Welcome back, guys. Okay. So, uh, kids stuff first. Yeah. So kids where, should, where are we going? What do we need? Same with adults and just general population. It can be beneficial for anybody, essentially. The kids stuff is just a different dose, so that they have a little bit less because they're smaller bodies. So they shouldn't be taking. The kids stuff should be kept for the kids, and like so you shouldn't be giving kids any of the adult ones. I mean, it's just a different dose. It's a lot easier to follow instructions if you can have them specifically for kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you like? So let's talk about omega threes right now. So let's start with the Nutraceuticals. And so the kids, it's bubblegum flavor, which is great. So omega threes are essential fatty acids. Essential meaning that your body needs to get it from a dietary source. And what they do specifically for the immune system is they help increase. Well, let's look at EPA. So there's difference between. EPA and DHA omega-3s. We're getting into the nitty-gritty already, yeah. already with me, right? right? Specifically, EPA has been associated with supporting the immune system and decreasing inflammation. DHA, as you probably have heard, helps with developing eyes and brains for kids and also babies inside uh, their mother's belly. How often do we take be taking these? You can take them daily. Daily. Remember, they're essential fatty acids, meaning you need to get them through dietary sources. Okay. What about something like this? Elderberry. I love elderberry. It's great because it's a little naturally sweet, which the kids like sweet things. Adults like sweet things too. Yeah. But it's rich in vitamin C and antioxidants, which has been associated with supporting the immune system. Vitamin C also helps with wound healing and collagen formation. Okay. So it's great. So anything else here? Um, vitamin D? Vitamin D. We do have some kids' products for vitamin D down here. Okay. So again, they're the different dose for specific kids and even infants down there. We also have vitamin D on the other side in arrangement for adults. So let's go for a walk. Keith, come for a walk with us because vitamin D, as Canadians, are we getting enough vitamin D? Absolutely not. So we're not, even in the summer when we're out in the sun? Uh, even in the summertime, I know okay. it's a little bit of a trade-off, right? So why are we not getting the vitamin D from the sun? Okay, so here's a little bit of controversy, right? So in basic physiology, we need UVB rays from the sun to make vitamin D in our body. And what do we do during the summer times? We lather on sunscreen that blocks UVB right, rays. Right, because we want to be putting on that sunscreen yes, to protect us, to protect but us. it's not getting, the, the vitamin D is not getting to us. Exactly. Okay, so that's why it's yes. good to get. Okay, so what's the difference, like let's say, so there's uh, D3s, is there a D1 or D2s? Like is it just Yep. Some are better than others? Yeah, so there is vitamin D3, and then we also have some vitamin D2 products, like right. this one right here. Down here, okay. So generally we want vitamin D3 because it raises levels of vitamin D higher than D2 in the blood. Okay. And there's all different forms you can take. So there's D3, and then you might see a product like this, vegan D3. And there is a difference in ingredients. So vegan D3 comes from mushrooms, fun fact. Non-vegan D3, where do you think it comes from? Um, <laughs> uh, I, just, I just see meat. Meat, it comes from sheep's wool. Oh, okay. Yes, it's called lanolin. So it's a secretion from sheep's wool. And that's where all of these vitamin D3 products come from. Except for that one, the vegan Except one. Except for vegan okay. ones, they come from mushrooms. Um, always, always getting something from you, okay? Always kind of putting new things into our brain that, would, that it's kind of important this time of the year. Okay, uh, stress levels. Those are starting to rise as we get to the end of the summer and back into the grind of the fall. We'll tackle that and we'll tackle microgreens, which is really so hot right now. We'll do that. Yes. Healthy planet in Stony Creek, but there's locations all around the region. So how are your stress levels? It's the summer, but we're getting to the end of the summer and things are starting to get a little bit busier and back to school and all that stuff, right? So stress, le stress levels might be going up. And sometimes when I come to the Healthy Planet, there's just so many products, it can kind of stress you out to know what to go for. Yeah. Well, that's why we got our good buddy uh, Ashton Buck here to, to help us out and kind of debunk some stuff and yeah. to kind of, I don't know, identify, how do you know when you're stressed? Oh, if you can't feel it, that's a red flag. That means your body's adapting to it, right? But everybody kind of knows when they feel that pressure. It's just a little bit different. It's a different yeah, feeling. Yeah, and you almost get that physical manifestation where like your traps start to creep up and they start touching your ears. You feel tense and tight. You're irritable. Those are all signs of stress. Okay, how can we help it? Okay, so there's three botanicals that are my go-tos and they do different things. So one of them being ashwagandha. 
you may have heard that's a crazy name I know mm -hmm. ashwagandha so this one is great if you are wired but tired like you are really tired but you feel all gung-ho and you need to keep moving and keep working this helps bring you back down to earth are you taking that before bed you can take it during the day or before bed okay. if you have sleep issues then maybe before bed might be better for you okay what is it so it's a botanical so we use the root of it but it's all in herb essentially okay um second one second is rhodiola so these do different things right they're all adaptogens and this word adaptogens means it helps buffer physical mental and emotional stress and support the adrenal glands which produces cortisol which is the stress hormone rhodiola is an energizing herb so it gives you a little bit more energy so it's more beneficial if someone is really tired and lethargic really struggling to find that motivation it helps give you a little more energy okay. next you remember there's top three okay. there's holy basil which is kind of an in-between of both because if you're really really tired you don't want to take from reserves like almost like a caffeine where it's a fake energy you don't want to take from that holy basil is a nice happy medium where you're either wired but tired or also really tired no motivation it's kind of a happy medium um melatonin yeah okay you, okay. Hear, you hear it all the time yeah okay. you hear about melatonin all the time yeah is it good for sleep what's your thoughts um i i've never taken it before so i don't know because i don't have problems sleeping luckily nice. just, uh, just the hours that i have yeah. who should be taking it or are, are people taking it at the wrong times so melatonin common, probably one of the most popular things people take for sleep, and sometimes it's not the best thing that they could be taking. Okay. Melatonin is used to help reset your circadian rhythm, your day and night cycle, essentially, when your body starts to feel sleepy. Melatonin is really great for some of the work shift work, where they may have nights one night and days another, and they're trying to get back to a routine. That's when melatonin okay. is good. This one, ashwagandha and magnesium. Yes, so we have the ashwagandha that we talked about, right? Mm -hmm. It helps support the adrenal glands and cortisol. Magnesium helps, so I'll start right from the top for magnesium, is that it is used in almost every enzymatic reaction with stress. So it's okay. easily depleted. So it's something you need to replenish. Whew. Did you get all that? <laughs> I know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot, but luckily we have ashwagandha. Was that stressful? Uh, <laughs> no, because <laughs> I took some ashwagandha before we did the segment. Yeah. Um, and are you taking your greens? What about some microgreens? They got microgreens here at Healthy Planet in Stony Creek and all the other locations around the region. We'll do that when we come back on Morning Life. Mighty, mighty microgreens. And the last time we were at Healthy Planet, I think we were in Oakville? No, Ancaster. Ancaster. Yeah. Right, they had a whole display of the growing, hydroponics, the hydroponics yeah. of the, uh, of the mic microgreens. And uh, we're in Stony Creek this morning with our pal Ashton Buck, who's been helping us out all morning with uh, throwing big words at us and <laughs> making us remember them. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm going to quiz you at the end. You, you, oh, yeah. oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, back to that stress one. Uh, yes. <laughs> But microgreens, you get some more big words for us and why microgreens are so great because it's a real buzz thing going they right now. They are a real buzz thing, which is, I mean, it's good that it's a buzz thing because they are basically nutrient dense superfoods. Superfoods. Super essentially, because you can eat less and get more nutrients compared to eating like a full broccoli. Okay, so we want to start with like the beginning because you're they're growing them in-house here in Stony Creek. Yeah. Right. This is this, this is how it starts. So you can always come in and you can find them. So these ones are still maturing, right? They are basically seeds. You might be able to open one up. Right. So we got arugula and some green kale. Green kale. So let me see. Let me open it up, ruining it. So okay. you see, those ones are just babies. They're just sprouting up right now. It might take about two weeks. Two weeks. To see them fully mature, and then you can harvest them. Okay. So these ones right here are still growing as well. But we also have a package over there that you can open up, and that is the fully grown harvested. What is so great about them? What's great about them, specifically the hype about them, is the liver support and the liver detoxification. So I'm going to throw a big word at you again. Uh, here we go. Sulforaphane. When you think of that word, what's one word you hear within it? Sulfur. Okay, so sulfur. We did this off camera. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so sulfur. You think of broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, they're all stinky, right? Sulfur stinks, smells like rotten eggs, yeah. but it's really beneficial for liver support, support, supporting phase two liver detoxification. And 
microgreens are more rich in sulforaphane than the adult form. So the adult kale, the adult broccoli, and whatnot. So essentially you could have like two tablespoons of this to be equivalent to about one cup. This one is the radish? That's the daikon radish. Daikon radish. We tried this last we time. We tried that last time and I was okay. looking with a little bit of a bite. Okay. I'm gonna join try you. It too. Yeah, tastes good. Definitely radishy. Right. Are you heating this up or you want to eat it raw? You can do either or. You essentially want to lightly steam it. Oh, the taste it gives you a kick at the it end, gives you a kick doesn't at it? The end. Like we just had, I just had like a little oh wow. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> but essentially you want to lightly heat it so you can lightly saute it, lightly steam right. it, and that activates. Or even like throw that in a salad. You know what I mean? Like to, like top it with like kick, that, right? And like not cr like uh, two bucks. Two dollars. So it the difference between this, affordable. you can be because that's just pieces of it. But then you can actually buy this and grow it yourself. You can grow it yourself. You can either put it in a hydroponics machine or you can continue to water it. So it's just a little bit more expensive if you want the base. Okay. But you can always find my healthy planet. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Um, Stony Creek is where we are today. We were in Ancaster last time. There's locations all around the region. And there's uh, always somebody knowledgeable like Ashton that will throw big words at you, but we'll explain those big words, which is That's the best part. kind of always important. Don't worry, we got you. Yeah. Just come uh, in and ask any of the staff. Great seeing you. Yes, nice seeing you too. You want one? one you want one? Go yeah, for it. There you go, go Keith. Go for it. Oh, well, he took more than one. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready for the some, yeah.